Hey everybody, it's Jade on Piano where we make music make sense. Today we got a good one. Um, we're talking about adding in what's not there. This, In this case, it moves to minor. So check this out. Okay, so we've got four moves to minor chords today. And today's feature song, I was listening to... Uh, uh, Revelation 19.1 but um, quick story my best friend she was listening to this Saturday night to prepare for worship um, Sunday and I was visiting and um, and she was listening to this song it was it was by Maverick City the Maverick City version I've heard the original version I've heard the Stephen Heard version um, I hope I'm not saying his name wrong but this is the classic gem by Jeffrey Lavallee I hope I'm saying his last name correctly. Um, I hope that's right. But whatever the case, Jim, we've heard it back in the day. Uh, Hallelujah, Salvation and Glory. Other name that we know it by. And they were doing it in D. So let me give this to you in D real quick. The one chord, two chord, three chord, four chord, five chord, six chord, seven chord, and the one chord. Okay, that's in the key of D. Now, we said four moves to minor. There's only two minor chords that we're uh, gonna be going to in this video, and it's the B. And it's the E. If you stick around to the end, I might have a bonus move that's neither going to major or minor, but it's a bonus uh, harmonization that was also in that clip. Go check out that clip, Maverick City, um, Revelations 19.1. Naomi Reigns is featured in that video. Or Rain, Naomi Rain or Reigns. I really need to get my names correct today. But here's the thing. I don't normally listen to Maverick City, okay? Um, most of the time when I'm listening to gospel music, it's, uh, you know, contemporary gospel more so than something that's leaning a little bit more towards contemporary Christian. And so I don't hear it. But um, like I said, my best friend, she was listening to it. And and so, you know, I was in earshot. So I heard it wasn't even by a piano, but I heard some tasty little moves in there. Don't even know who's on the piano in this video um, and the organ man they were killing so let me get let me get here to it that was the song that i played first before i get to the song let's look at it in its basic form so you can we were talking about adding what's not there right if i play the song in its purest form let's just go straight at it so right and i'm playing the melody here on the top right oh uh, well we could say it's a six but we're going to the six so that's why I didn't play it like that and then really they add this in and you know it stays the same so what are we adding in first let's get what he really did instead of using just that one chord he used that dominant chord but this dominant chord brilliantly moves to that four chord right and that in itself could be a move but not what we're discussing today we're going to the five now we're going here on the next chord after this one so what are we using this is an F sharp, F sharp dominant chord that's leading us to the B. Minor, perfect, right? Dominant to the B. The dominant of B to lead to the B. E minor, then we've got E dominant. First inversion. That's the song, okay? Now, the moves we're going to is off of the B. 
and off of the E. So in this key, we've got off of the, or going to the sixth chord and going to the two chord. Move number one was this one right here. Uh, let me get to it. And, and they broke. So you know, often in the song, you can break and the choir just sings. Hallelujah, salvation and glory. And here we are to the move. Right? All of that to the B. So here we go. Hallelujah, salvation and glory. And then we're back to the two. So that was the simple one. What did I do? It's really... Just moving in sixth. That's a sixth. This is a sixth. And they're all major sixths, as you can see right there on the screen. Um, also, we can look at it as, uh, if you want to fill that out, all diminished chords. C sharp diminish, D diminish, E diminished, which is an inversion of the C sharp dimension, right? So give us that nice little feel to the B. It just, it flows because diminished to the B, the, the original one, that's all we're doing. We're just moving through it. Okay, you see that? And then to the B. I was nice and slow, but he did it real fast. And made it real open and simple. So you could do both of those. You'd be doing something to really pull that off quickly. But that's kind of what that's based on. One or the other. It's a nice open thing. That was the first move. The second time, and I want to deal with the, the going to this six chord first so we can keep them organized, okay? And the second time, he did this uh, tasty little thing. You know, you're building it up. Um, so they broke again. Hallelujah. And, and this is the part where they're uh, all singing together in rounds. So hallelujah salvation and glory uh hallelujah salvation and glory no. right so what's happening here that's where it fits so here we go one more time hallelujah salvation and glory there we go i really like that one why do i like this this is a uh in the key of, if I'm saying, no, this is in, this is actually leading to our seven of our key. So this is, this is nice. You could say this is a seven, three, six and E, right? So how did we do it? No. Okay. The interesting thing off of this though is our seven three six is seven is normally a diminished chord or minor chord but he rolled into this you know was like look at me whoever that is just brilliant he's making this a major third he's announcing his presence like big and bold but it's still gonna work because whether you look at it as a seven three six a two five one this this motion here um we're so used to something like that And then we go minor because we need to get to the chord. This chord is in our key, right? Um, however, this is a seven chord in our key and we changed it or, or substituted it for a minor chord right here uh, to set up. We're still going to the B though. Okay, all of this to set up this, right? So hallelujah. Hallelujah, salvation and glory, right? Now we're to that B. So that's real nice. That tasty little, the timing is everything on that particular move. That is fantastic. Went down, went like a secondary dominant here. <laughs> then a dominant minor. Look at this motion. All of that to get there. That fourth motion that we're used used to did all of that there. So those are those two moves, right? Um, moving into the next one, let's get to the moves to the E. Again, um, this time he because we're deep into the song at this point, 
uh, the move is this, going to the two chord. All uh, praise is B. So again, we work us B to the King of King and the Lord our God. So on God, we're getting to the and the Lord our God. We need to be there. So praise is B to the King of King and the Lord our uh, Lord our. I gotta get there. God, he is one. Wonderful. Okay, what happened here? This is a drop two of a diminished chord. Again, that diminished. Why is it a drop two? Let's look at it. If we take this note at the top, or no, 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 sorry. The note that's at the bottom and put it back in the chord. It's this chord right here. See that? Take this out, put it down here. Then we did another drop two. Okay, take the note at the bottom, put it back in the chord. It's that. So we did those two chords. Then we have, uh, take the note from the bottom, put it in. We have this chord. And then take the note, take this note from the bottom, put it in. So, so we've got, That's all we're doing, but it sounds really nice when it's open. Right? And if you got the hands to stretch it, see that I'm stretching, grabbing this G. Um, my hand is hanging off the keyboard to, to grab it there. See that? So hit the whole thing. And a nice little suspension. See that sus4. You know, we talked about suspensions the last couple of weeks. So that's the third move, right? Going to that um, two chord. The last one is also a subset of that, but it's a little bit simpler. And it's doing the same type of thing. Hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and power. Uh, That's how it's going. Or this one here. Um, same two chords. Also a drop two. It's just two of them this time, right? Instead of jumping around with it. So you can see the theme of this video is using uh, the same type of moves over and over in different places. How can we use this in other places? Let me do something like how great is our God. Especially since, you know, Maverick City does a lot of uh, uh, more contemporary Christian style songs. Um, and, and often we need moves to those types of things. So the reason I showed you the song first was to show you what the original song was, but then what we're adding in and how we how we can conceptual conceptualize those things. So we went to the two, uh, six and we went to the two. Now, let's do How Great Is Our God, and let's try it in the same spot. Let's go. I'm going to take that, the one going to the E for, first. Uh, how great is our... Right? Let's do it here. So I really want to change my melody note there. Right. Right. So I, so I did really two things in that song because we know the song goes from one to the six to the four. Instead of me going to the four, I went to the two instead, and I like to do that a lot when I'm playing this song. So this would be totally natural for me to have gone to the two, but because I'm going to the two, I'm inserting the two and that move to the two. Right. Right, so that's getting to how great is our God. Let's see if we can put this one in. Let's try that. Uh, going to the six is our God. We can get it in there. Is our God? Then this. 
How great, how great is our God. Spiced it up, real simple, right? Um, how about hallelujah? And I'm going to the four. Let's see if we can get this in here. So I had to change a Jew. Right. So that's that's just me thinking ahead trying to put that move in, but I still had to insert a two in that key. Right? Um how about Waymaker? Uh that starts on the four. Right. So that time I wanted to get to that six because it was so easy to do. What was the other move to the six? Uh, I don't know if I have space for all of this. Let's see if I can get that part in, though. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, not my God. I can get that piece in. You see that? Way, let's try it one more time. Miracle. Light in the darkness. My God, that is who you. Right. Right. So that would be Miracle Worker. As you can see, I'm literally plugging and playing the same moves. So that was all that. If you stuck around and you want to see the other move, he did this to end the song. And you hear them break, but then you hear this like, like uh, synth playing this part here, right? And then they, uh, so, uh, right hallelujah salvation and glory and then check this out i'm trying to get my hands ready because this was and then he stretches like this honor and power uh, um he hits it and power he is one wonderful. And he does, you know, some subset of this again. Here we go again. Hallelujah. Salvation. Oh. So really, we need to hit this G. Let's do it right. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Uh, oh. Oh. getting that stretch honor and power he is one dear foe. we got all of that that was brilliant what's happening real simple same chord we started with here we added in this f sharp minor to um and if you just need something to set you up uh So what's happening? When I see this F sharp minor, I'm thinking in the key of E. So I'm going to do a 2, 5, 1 E, except that he only did the 2 and the 1. He skipped the 5, right? But I can easily add the 5 in. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me do it. See that? This is my 5. There we go. Now we're back in our key of D and we're walking through the D and then changing that chord again, C sharp minor, it's a sus chord, uh, flat nine, F sharp chord, and then our 
B. Look at how he spreads it out. The voicing is everything on this. This is difficult for me to hit, so it's very, it's not very likely I would be using this very often unless I had a bass player. I might be able to squeeze that out. Notice how you get that same sound. And that's implied. You see that? So I might hit it like this, because that we're here. Uh, hit that like that. And, and I can get that. And then go back. Sus chord again. There we have it. So we've got all of that. That was our bonus move. We've got all of that from those five moves for going to minor and that one extra one. Take these, put them in your plan. You saw we went to the sixth chord with two moves. We went to the two chord, two moves. We put it in a couple of songs. Then we had a bonus move. So check those out. Use these, uh, use these in your songs. Spice them up a little bit. All they were were different uh, voicings for diminished chords going to minor chords. Check that out. Use them. See you guys. Let me know where you're using these in your songs. Let me know in the comments where you're using this type of stuff. Take care. Have a blessed week.